Hello, and Peter here with another um, exciting project for Crafty Crusaders blog. Um, I've, I'm going to be using Setter Scrib PBO markers today for fabric. And I've got a piece of fabric here that I've already put some fabric paints on and used some stencils and things on. And I've just pulled out one of my stencils and I'm actually using a biro to put that stencil marking onto just roughly onto the fabric. Why? Because a lot of the lines in this particular stencil are a bit too small for the set, for the setter script nib, even though it's actually a really fine nib. So instead of using um, trying to get that through, or using a paint I'm just using a biro and you can see now I'm just filling in that um, image and just adding extra hair embellishments and things like that to it and making the image a little bit more my own and then as soon as I finished just it's like using a pencil really um, because everything will go over the top of this biro so um, and then the exciting part will be starting to use the markers. Now with these markers, you just have to iron them for five minutes on a dry iron, and then they are able to be washed and they survive the wash. Now this particular design that I'm doing today, I am ultimately going to make some kind of a bag or some kind of fabric project um, out of it or I may even cover a journal in it so these are fabulous because they allow you to have such beautiful detail so I'm starting off with a fluoro pink and I'm just putting in some basic details and the under colorings of the flowers that I want for this particular thing and look you can see all the patterns underneath my girl and I want those to show through. Now the thing that I really love about these markers is that they blend. So when I go over pink with yellow it will make an orange and vice versa. And also too when I'm going over the existing paint that's there it's really interesting that it starts to make a purple. So I'm doing the eye now and I'm using the light and the dark in the set of script markers with, along with the black and now I'm doing the lips with the red. I'm leaving some of the details white in the lips for the highlights. And so you can see I'm using the flat side and the nib side. So I'm using the flat side when I don't want a sharp line and I want to just shade a lot of things and then I'm using the nib when I want to put it in. So you can see how I'm holding it on the side now and that's giving me variations in light to dark on the colour spectrum. So I, this is the first coat and I'm using an orange here. I'm not using the fluoro orange, I'm used to using a normal orange and I'm just putting in the bones of the hair the bones of the hair. I'm putting in the biro lines that I've already marked in for the beautiful girl's hair and now I'm just shading it in a little bit more with the side of the brush. Now because I am not going to actually be wearing this particular fabric I am now going to use some acrylic paints for her face. Now the reason why I'm using a normal acrylic paint for the girl's face after I've put in some of these feathers that are in her hair and I'm using the black set of scrib to do these because I really want them to stand out to be really bold. Now the reason I'm going to use some acrylic paints for her skin tones is that there are no skin tones in the PBO range and look part of our role as design team members is to really try these products out for different types of things and when I mixed some of the colours together in the fabric marker and also the range you can tell that there is no light colours 
in my arsenal that will create a flesh tone so uh, consequently I'm using some acrylic paints but vice versa if you've ever got an acrylic paint in fabric you'll find that it it's actually quite tough to get out so I'm actually using my fabric a little bit like paper and I'm putting an undercoat in there but you can see all the stenciled images that have gone on before and are already dry you can still see through her skin and that's part of the beauty of what we do because all those earlier layers show through now I'm just using a raw umber and it's just putting in some of the dark shadows and now I'm going back in with the light shadows and going over that and just adding the planes and the lights the highlights and the low lights of the face and the more I do that until I just keep doing that until I'm really happy with the light and shade on the face and she's looking a lot more lifelike now <laughs> so now I'm just using a white fabric paint to actually uh, put a little highlight in her eye and to put some white highlights to blend it into the face and the lips and this just again gives light and shade to her face and there you go now I'm using the set of screw pen and I'm just blending it in with a brush and so even though you've got pens you can apply it and dot it in and then blend it in with the brush particularly if it's over paint so if you've already got some layers so now I'm going to put in some of those details that were just in biro now I'm using the marker that I couldn't use before and I'm using it on its side sometimes and also on its nib and you'll see sometimes I just use almost sketchy strokes and broken lines I don't want it to look too illustratively and I am just trying to just add just a tiny amount of definition to this rather than make the black a feature but I think she's looking a little bit gorgeous now the amazing thing is you can write with these so when you want to write say you want to write beautiful girl and you might have drawn a fairy or something on uh, a, a beautiful t-shirt you can just go and write anything that you want so you've got the details that's the thing I love about the markers and that's why I did this project just with the markers to show you the versatility that you can do with this particular product and isn't she gorgeous so now she just has to dry I leave that to dry then I'm going to set it with an iron for five minutes and then she's wash and wear but the exciting thing is I'm just adding now even in some bread so I'm now just adding in a third color for her hair so that I've just got some real shadows and low lights for that the exciting thing is what will I use her for ciao for now see you next time